So in this very quick tutorial, we're gonna answer the question of what is this red box that's covering up my video? Essentially, what this means is that you're actually zoomed in a little bit um, on top of your video. And I've been asked this question a few times, um, so I thought it's worth making a, a quick video about. And essentially, this red box allows us to move around our video so we can center any one particular area of it. Now, if you wanna get rid of it, the quickest way to do that is just to come up to the percentage up here, the view percentage, and select fit. Um, we can also, if we zoom back in here, use the shortcut shift and Z if we have the viewer selected up here. And essentially what you may want to do sometimes when you're super zoomed in, so if we zoom into 200% here, you can see we can look around our video and see the quality of any effects or anything that we've added into that particular video by zooming in onto the viewer. The other thing we can see here as well is if we go to 100%, we can see the quality and the sharpness of the overall video. So if we just move down to our video here and scrub through, um, we can see what's in focus and what's out of focus as we kind of move through this piece of footage. And because we're viewing this video footage at 100%, we're viewing it pixel for pixel on screen. And so we get a nice rendition of the actual quality of that video rather than the fit version, which is showing us a lower resolution version of what we're seeing. So essentially, select the drop down menu, go to fit, it will get rid of the red box, but also use it if you need to zoom in, check the quality of your footage, see details in your footage, and that type of thing. You can also use the Shift Z shortcut in the timeline. So if we come to the timeline here, you can see we've got a few different clips in the timeline. If we use Shift and Z, it will zoom to the entire timeline. So again, a couple of different places you can use that Shift and Z shortcut. And one time you will need it is to get rid of that little red box on the right hand side of your screen, which is used to navigate around in the viewer. I hope that's been useful. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro, then please don't hesitate to drop a message below. And also I have a new video tutorial on creating motion plugins on a website called Skillshare. You can check it out, I'm leaving a link below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.